Hello, my name is Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade compost. Now this is my compost bin and it's fantastic, it's been made from pallets. There is an online video on how to build this as well by Craig Phillips. I'm going to show you what can go into your compost bin to make the most wonderful compost that you can use all over your garden for free. Um, so first things first, as this has got large holes in the side of it and ultimately when all my material is in here I want to block out all the light so I'm going to use this weed membrane to hold in the material and also create a cover to block out the light. So I want excess. Here. Now I'm just going to tack that in place with a few nails. Okay, so I should stay in place now and then this will effectively be my lid which will then fold over whatever goes in there. Now compost is about a mixture of two things. You want both carbon in there and vegetation. Um, so I have a huge variety of things that will go in. Firstly, all the cut flowers from in the house instead of throwing them away in the bin as usual these can all now go in the compost i also have things like this willow which can go in but first of all i'm going to snap it and break it up because i wouldn't necessarily put anything in that was thicker than this this is around pencil thickness anything thicker than that and twiggy uh, will take far too long to decompose so to help this speed up i'm going to break it up Got more flowers and then any vegetable peelings whatsoever. I would kind of limit the amount of citrus fruit that goes in but apart from that anything else I've got some lettuce, some cucumber, I think over here I've got some more bits and pieces, I've got potato peelings, carrot peelings so nothing will go to waste. Banana skin. I also have here some lawn clippings. Now, lawn clippings are great and you want to kind of sprinkle them evenly over the pile if possible rather than just putting them in a heap in the middle. And you don't want too many of these because once the bacteria get in and this whole thing starts warming up, if there are too many grass clippings in there, it will just turn to sludge. And that's not what we want. We want lots of air to be reaching everywhere in the compost bin and that's why these sides have been left open. This is an anaerobic process. So it's all about how much air will get in and therefore that oxygen will feed the bacteria and therefore that will speed up the decomposition. That's all my flower tops from the garden. Another thing that can go in is eggshells and these are brilliant and even the cardboard from the egg container and this is the carbon factor another carbon option i have is paper this has all been shredded which is wonderful if you have a shredder at home and you can shred paper then all the better because again it will just speed up the whole process and then 
bizarrely enough, you can also put in anything that is 100% wool or 100% cotton. So any old jumpers you've got lying around, any old t-shirts that kids have outgrown, they can also go in. And I'm gonna chop this one up. Now, to speed up the whole process, every week or so, you should come out and just check how moist your compost heap it is. You don't want it too moist because then you'll get that sludge, but you do want to add some moisture to kind of just keep things moving along. It's also a really good idea if you have a garden fork, if you shove that in and wiggle it around, and then again, it gets more air and oxygen into the pile. And before you know it, there will be worms that come up from the ground and help speed the whole process along. And within the space of six months, I reckon you can easily have something that looks similar to this, which is beautiful, rich, organic matter. There's no better thing you can give your garden and the best way to use this stuff is either when potting up containers hanging baskets you can mulch your garden with it so in the springtime if you use this to lay on all your borders in and around all your plants um, it is just fabulous stuff the worms will come up bring it down into where the roots need it the most do all the hard work for you. It locks in moisture, suppresses weeds and feed plants. And it has cost nothing. It's wonderful stuff. For more videos, visit silverlinetools.com.